that look familiar? What up guys, I am doing a video on the modded Wii. When you're trying to load into USB Loader GX, and when you get there, your game files aren't showing. You got like the no image icons, your GameCube games aren't showing, all the artwork and stuff isn't there, and it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing, and you're like, what is going on? And one of the codes that it was giving me was like, USB Loader GX directory cannot be created or whatever, and like all these like, it had like five error messages. I'm like, dude, what? Ugh. Okay. It took me like two or three days researching on how to fix this and one guy was like, oh, it's in your custom pass. I'm like, yeah, it's in my custom pass. Okay, sure. Like my other USB hard drive works great. Why doesn't this one? So I got another hard drive. Well, the other hard drive didn't fix it because I thought it was like a reading issue. Like it, it was holding memory. It was holding the games. It was doing all the stuff, but it just wasn't loading up on the Wii. And I'm like, why? Why are you not working? What is going on? So I'm fiddling with it, trying to figure it out and it's still not working. I'm like, Dude, man, crap. And so I'm reading some more, reading some more, and like it, it was like two, three more times. It's like custom pass, come some pass. I'm like, man, what, what's up with these custom paths? I started to understand the whole point of the custom paths. It's where the program needs to go to be able to obtain the files and also the, the artwork and all that crazy stuff. So I figured it out and I made it work. So I'm gonna help you guys and show you how I did it. All right, let's get our Wii fired up. We're gonna go to USB Loader GX, you know, where we love to be. Everything's booting up normal, and then bam, look at all this. That's annoying, but that's okay, because we're gonna I'm gonna walk you through how to fix it. So you're gonna go here, and we're gonna double check our hard drive settings, just for you guys who might not have all this experience. So you wanna make sure that this is selected, and then I have both ports on, because I was trying to figure it out, but really you just need it on port zero, okay? And uh, so if you got those two, we should be good on, on this section here. So let's let's go back out of it. Now we're gonna go over here to custom paths. So right here, you want your 3D cover path, your 2D cover path, your full and your disc. So to get the artwork, you gotta, you gotta go into here and the artwork on mine is on my SD card. So it's in my apps, I think. No, I lied. So my artwork for these are on my hard drive. So we're gonna go here, I'm gonna select this for my hard drive. Here's my covers, and then 3D. I think I was on the 3D one. And then that's it. Then you select OK, and my path was changed. So yeah, now my 3D cover path is on my 3D covers path. So same thing, we're gonna go to the 2D cover path, change it to my where my covers are. Because again, it's wherever your covers are stored. If you have it stored on your SD, it's on your SD. If you have it stored on your, US, on your USB, it's on your USB, so make sure you know where exactly it is to lead it to the path, because that's how it works, it, it follows the path. So mine's here, I go to covers, now I'm, I'm on my 2D, and I'm gonna save it. My path's changed. All right, we got two more to go on the path. Back to USB. Covers, I think I'm on disc, uh, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, we're on full cover path, it says right here. So we're on full cover. Okay, save, path changed, and then the last one for the covers, USB, covers, and we're doing disk, and so mine's in my disk again, and then okay. All right, so that's how you get the cover uh, artwork stuff figured out. So now, to get the GameCube games to show up and play, we're gonna go all the way down to Nintendo. Where are you at? There you are, go to Nintendo. Okay, my Nintendo is on my SD. So I'm going to my SD, going to my apps. I'm gonna scroll down to find my Nintendo. There it is. Bam. I'm gonna click OK. My path was changed. Perfect. So now we're gonna go back, back. And there's all my games. There's my GameCube games, there's my Wii games, and they're playable. And lastly, just to make sure I'm covering all bases and in case your GameCube games aren't showing up, Go up to your your bar up here. You want to click this one. That's the fourth one over. Yeah, loader mode. Come on, clicking. There we go. And make sure that this Wii Games is checked, and your GameCube is checked, and then that should show all of it. Because if you just unclick this, it'll take away your GameCube games. So now I just have all Wii Games that are just going to show. But if I go back up here, click that select my GameCube games, and I deselect my Wii games, it'll be just Wii games, or sorry, GameCube, it'll just be GameCube games. 
and there you go. So that is how that works. Just, just to cover all bases to make sure you guys know to check these as well. There you go, GameCube and Wii. So let's, let's fire up a familiar GameCube game that everyone knows and it's not annoying to play. Sure, Luigi's Mansion. That's a good one. Here we go, we're gonna start. All right, it's loading up. There it is. So let's get it going. Start. New file, new game. Gonna do this. Okay, and it's working. There we go. So there's a quick fix for you guys. I hope that works. If it doesn't work, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to help you guys. I always come across these hard to find problems and I can never find information on it and I end up being the one who fixes it. And I'm like, I need to tell everybody. So if you guys are having the same issue and or if you can't fix your issue, let me know in the comments and I'll do what I can to help you guys. All right, later.